Please welcome Noah DeGuanco. Hello, everybody. How's everyone doing today? My name is Noah DeGuanco. I'm nine years old. I have three younger brothers. We all look just like this. I'm here today to tell you that dragons do exist. Just kidding, but that would be so awesome. You see, I'm just like any other nine-year-old kid. I love playing video games, I love playing with my friends, I love snowboarding, and like most older brothers, I love playing tricks with my younger brothers. But you know, I've started to notice that a lot of times, adults like to fit you into a box just because you're a kid. They like to assume that nine-year-olds only get to do nine-year-old things. They have age recommendations on everything, from books to toys or even sports or activities. Without even knowing, adults have put limits on what they think kids are able to do. Imagine what our world would be like if all kids, even adults, believed they could do anything they put their mind to. You see, us kids, we like to think that we can do anything. A kid walks, uh, an, a kid, uh, sorry, an adult walks into a room full of Lego and all they see is a mess. A kid can walk into the exact same room and we see towers, cities, and spaceships. Us kids are constantly hearing that we are too young, too small, and even sometimes too imaginative. It doesn't have to be like that. Kids can do amazing things. I started my first business two years ago when I was only seven. Starting at the age of five, I would go keep my mom company while she sold her handmade products at craft fairs. I would just go read while sitting on my beanbag behind her table. Then I started wanting to help organize her displays and eventually began talking to customers. A couple years ago, during a talk with my mom, I asked her if I could open up my own shop. Instead of her asking me why, she asked herself, why not? So when my dad came home, we all sat down and talked about what I'll need to get started. I didn't even have an idea of what I wanted to sell. I was excited that I was going to have a business. The next morning, I told my mom that I had the perfect idea. My birthday had just passed, and we had melted old crayons, put them into mold, and gave them away as thank you gifts to my friends. They were a big hit. I asked if that could be my business, and that is where it started. Now... When I noticed how every time we would go out to eat, the server would good give me my crayon, my brothers to give me and my brothers crayons to keep us busy before the food came. Once we came home, the crayons would just get added to the mountains of other crayons we had. Now we could take these old crayons, put them into molds, and resell them in shapes and characters that other kids love. When we finished with the first batch, I started selling them online. This got me thinking about my company name, logo, and how to package the crayons. The following summer, I ran my first table at a local outdoor craft fair. I ran to my first obstacle here. I didn't realize that my sealed plastic packaging would cause my crayons to melt in the hot sun. After reworking my packaging, I I launched my product into local stores on Main Street. In one of the stores, I have the honor of being the youngest business owner to add all the products. The reason I'm here is not to tell you the rest of making cool crayons. I'm really here to say that anything is possible, no matter how young you are. If you believe with a why not attitude and a great support group, 
You can make just about anything happen. I'm standing up here not because I had a brilliant idea, but because I took action with my idea. You see, without even realizing, I have learned what branding is, what expenses are, how to price my products, and how great customer service really works. But more importantly, I have learned to look for opportunity and not to be scared to do something I haven't done before. A year ago, I was at the same TED Talks event, and I wanted to be on stage. Now I am here, like every kid here today. If you believe in yourself and put in the work, you can be up here too. Hopefully, in 20 years, I'll be up here again, sharing my findings as a genetic engineer. My name is Noda Guanco. Thanks for listening.